in Katy Friday night. The state's number five ranked Katy Tigers were looking to move one step closer to an undefeated regular season. But standing in the way was a rival Cinco Ranch team that could gain a share of first place in the district race with a win over the 7-0 Tigers. A huge matchup, which also gets our nod as the Fred Haas Auto Group Game of the Week. We gotta wake up and get the job done, let's go! Lucas on three, family on six, one, two, three! Single Ranch fired up. Here come the undefeated Katy Tigers and they were soaring with excitement. How about that? First quarter, Tigers drive it down. Seth Davis, touchdown, seven to nothing, Katie. Now, Tigers back with the ball. It's Seth Davis. He had a big game, left side. Nice move right there, down the sidelines to the 10. They got a touchdown, 14 to nothing. Second quarter, more Katie. Caleb Koger to the end zone, and Oliver Ginn goes way up there, makes the grab, touchdown. What a catch. Watch it again. The right foot comes inbounds. Wow, 21 nothing. Seco Ranch battles back though. Gavin Rutherford to throw over the middle to Sam McKnight and good night. He's gone. 72 yards for the touchdown. It's 21 to seven. But the Tigers drive it back downfield. Koger rolls left, finds Chase Johnson. Touchdown, 28 to seven. Cougars now under a minute to play in the half. Rutherford fires to Seth Salvarino, and that's a touchdown, 28-14, 45 seconds to play in the second. But in three plays, Katie answers. Koga rolls left, connects with Micah Koenig, touchdown, 35-14 at half. Third quarter now, Cinco Ranch moving the ball. Rutherford back to pass, but it's intercepted by Gavin Johnson down the sidelines, and that, oops, lost the ball but he gets it back. That was big. Tigers drive it down. Seth Davis scores again. Katie wins big, 56-28. Their 13th district championship in 14 years. They're now 8-0 on the season. Your Fred Haas Auto Group, Game of the Week.